everyone. Welcome to another edition of El Supercast. Hey, everyone. And I think for today's El Supercast, we need to talk about Belgium. What's been going on, man? Have they got Adult Swim yet, or what? Mm. I thought you were on getting petitions. <laughs> <laughs> I should get on, but... Uh... Like, what do you guys have TV-wise? What uh, do you guys have that's good? We have shit. Literally? Crap? On your TV? Yeah. No animation, nothing funny, nothing cool? Barely anything. Like, if you're talking about strictly Belgian shows, uh, shows that are made in Belgium, then there's... I can't think of anything, dude. I really can't. It's all shit. You guys... One of you guys made the Smurfs. What went wrong? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, we have good cartoonists. We have good uh, comics artists, but for TV, uh, it's a sad state. It's mm -hmm. All the shows are retarded. So you guys don't really have a adult swim representation over there. No, no, no. No other swim shows on TV whatsoever. We got Cartoon Network, but that came pretty late, and also Nickelodeon, but that came also came pretty late. Um, I guess Adult Swim is still too new <laughs> compared to. Like, uh, I don't know, I just don't think there's as much uh, of a target demographic for it here because. Most people in Belgium are too retarded to uh, to know how great other things. Mm. Well, you got Cartoon Network. At least at uh, certain times, you could probably catch a. Well, I don't know how the schedule is over there, but uh, I think I think it switches to Adult Swim in the uh, weekends, late night, late night weekends. Perhaps. Uh, no, we don't even get Adult Swim on Cartoon Network, no it's... Oh, it does, the Switch, over here it does that. After a certain amount of time it switches over. Yeah, but not here. Here it's like... Uh, I think it's been something like Cartoon Network during the day and uh, National Geographic in the evenings on that channel. So it, it, it cuts off before you have a chance to see it go to the late night program. Yeah, well, it's a completely different program compared to the U.S. Yeah, I would think so. What I've noticed is that even on the uh, Cartoon Network side, they have some pretty good stuff. There's Adventure Time. That was pretty good. And I saw that there is a cartoon based on uh, the Mad Magazine. Seems like it's rather hilarious. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's some of the new stuff that I noticed. But they're... Uh, cool. They seem to be branching out with newer uh, cartoons, trying to give other people the opportunity, which I think is good. Sweet. Yeah, I saw the uh, Echo Unit Patrol Spot. Oh yeah, now yeah. they change changed names. Yeah, and then I don't know why. I mean, I like the intro. The intro is really nice. I was like, alright, updated intro, about time! Yeah! I'm guessing they just wanted to refresh the show after all those years. Well, it makes sense. I mean, after after a while of seeing the same intro, you kind of get tired of it. You know, maybe they thought that now that they reached number 100, that perhaps for the next 100 it should be a little different. <laughs> Let's hope there is a next 100. Well, I don't know. Uh, I, I would hope so. But it would be nice. It's, it's kind of hard to say, because a lot of shows, even though you may think that they're good enough, they don't last too long. Well, uh, I don't know if it's the same for Adult Swim, but uh, uh, Cartoon Network is rather strange on the shows that they keep and the shows that they let go. Yeah. It's one of those things where, alright, this show is number one, but yet, like uh, Teen Titans, it's gone. Even though everybody knew about it. And it would get pretty good ratings. I mean, it must have to be number one. But that didn't stop it from uh, going the way of the dinosaur. I still don't get that. It's very strange. I guess the uh, people in charge didn't uh, like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem, too. 
whoever's uh, you know, the one who decides, okay, let's go with this show and let's get rid of this show. That's really a problem right there. And from my point of view, Adult Swim is not perfect. I have a few bones to pick with them. All the time with Family Guy and uh, King of the Hill. Oh, come on. I'm not tired of that. That's nothing new. It's time to uh, <laughs> Before, what they would do is they had different animation. It's pretty much redundant because you you end up seeing things that you have already seen. It's like little to no support for things that are new. Yeah, I know what you mean. They keep uh, rerunning the, the successful shows and uh, yeah, it's not like showing enough of the chance. less known shows. Yeah, I agree with that. It's, it's annoying. They do the same over here and you keep seeing the same shows like um, Discovery Channel, we keep seeing the same Mythbusters episodes and well, it's like, you, oh, we want something new. You know, I consider that a win that you guys got Mythbusters, so that's pretty Yeah, that, that's definitely a win. Uh, we didn't get this, Discovery Channel has only been here for uh, almost, uh, wait, one and a half year about. Yeah. Yeah, we've only had it here since the end of 2009, I think. So, that was a pretty big thing. <laughs> when, I, when we first started getting it, I was just watching the Discovery Channel all day. <laughs> what about networks that show uh, animation? Do you guys got uh, Star? I think Star still shows animation. No, no. The only thing, I'm... as I said, is Nickelodeon and uh, Cartoon Network. And then there's also a Belgian... Uh, channel okay. which has Belgian shows and also shows some uh, shows from other countries but it's it's for general uh, it's for kids up to 10 I see 12 years old and it's it's okay until that age and then it's yeah it's for it's for little children it's not for like a, a bit more mature audience. Yeah I think over here the uh Anime network, I personally don't have it because I don't work that shows that has that has that one a part of it. It sucks. Because I would like to see all the new stuff. But I'm like, eh, you know. For that I'll just go online and and see w whatever I can find. No, here it's like we don't have channels which are dedicated to one thing. We just have like general channels which uh, like the few big channels show some Shows like uh, Pokemon, they used to and still do. Luigi and you know, all the popular anime, um, all the popular shows, they show on those general channels, but it's not really like a specific channel for all that stuff. Uh, oh, wait, we also got the Disney Channel two years ago. Disney <laughs> Channel has been rather. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I know, I, I've never watched it. Uh, <laughs> I think it's stupid. I hardly watch it, if, if ever. Uh, I think uh, the only time that, that I watched it was because uh, Dana was in one of the shows, and I just wanted to see that. I was like, well, no. well in maybe, maybe in America it has some worthwhile programming, but over here in Belgium, definitely not. It depends, you see, because I don't really, I don't really fit into their target audience, so it's of course. hard. It's kind of hard for me to. To say that, oh, this this show is bad because it doesn't apply to me. Yeah, but also another prob problem with it um, is, of course, they sub all those shows to Dutch, and they make the characters and the whole show come off as completely ridiculous and <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's, it, they, all the characters sound just retarded. It's, uh -huh. it's just annoying to watch. Oh man, I would love to hear a Dutch Carl. That would be awesome. Uh, well, <laughs> I wish they showed that over here. It would be funny to, to see it. Yeah, it would be funny. See it subbed into Dutch. <laughs> yeah, it would be funny. <laughs> I mean, uh, I remember Russian Carl, and that thing was utterly hilarious. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. crazy. I still watch that every once in a while. <laughs> so, what would you say, top five channels? In your area, um, if you're speaking about all channels, not just uh, specifically Belgian ones, because then I couldn't do think of top five. Yeah, go ahead. Um, just go with whatever you can see. Discovery Channel, Canvas, which is like a Belgian channel that shows primarily culture shows, 
um, it also shows like um, comedy shows like for instance Monty Python um, yeah all that stuff um, yeah campus is pretty good next to that um, let me think I guess the Cartoon Network slash National Geographic channel um, and then it's already getting pretty difficult to choose because most of the other channels just pretty much suck in general. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, do you guys do you guys get uh, G four O? G four? No, we don't get it. But I was just thinking. Oh, we we also get the BBC and BBC is also pretty oh, yeah. good. Yeah, BBC is BBC is good. That's a good channel. No, we don't get any of those epic channels like G four. Oh, that's too bad. That's a good one. I think uh, that uh, angry angry video gamer his his stuff. And stuff, uh, I think it's stuff, some of his stuff. Really? Some of his stuff went to a TV station, but I don't remember which one. Maybe it was Spike, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I know he's affiliated with Spike because he posts hey, look, uh, videos on their websites. I think, uh, I think what I'm thinking of is uh, all the stuff that they do for conventions, which is pretty good. Because they were at PAX East and met one of the uh, executives from uh, G4 when I was helping my friend uh, do a interview with one of the cosplayers for his uh, documentary mm -hmm. so it, that, that channel I find they cover interesting things I don't have it myself but I'm able to access it whenever I'm at my friend's house it's uh, pretty good because you get uh, you get all the different aspects of what is good with technology what's going on with latest video games and Obviously, like, the more uh, popular conventions, they'll try to be there and get uh, exclusives on, oh, you know, this game is coming out this time, and, oh, we're going to talk to the artist who made all the game art, or we're going to talk to the programmer, we're going to talk to cool. these different kind of people. It's, it's, I find that it's, it's more towards my demographic. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, well... We are almost out of time. You got any uh, cool websites to uh, give props to before we get, we get going? Well, for once, I thought of it just in advance right now. And uh, I would like to uh, mention dietonight.com. Uh, I already mentioned it to you specific, specifically, for, but for listeners. And it's a, it's a web browser game in which you have to survive uh, zombie attacks and you have to work together with uh, people who are in your town uh, you have to like uh, scavenge for parts outside of town and then use those parts to uh, build defense in your town to defend it against the zombies and whatnot it's pretty neat and it, it's it gives a unique spin on the uh, zombie games because of the teamwork aspect so you, sh you guys should check that out it's pretty it's pretty awesome okay take care everyone Goodbye. See ya.